parallel lines and angle measures in five minutes. So previously, you've learned about some of the eight angles that are created when parallel lines are cut by a transversal. And we learned that all of the acute angles are congruent and that all of the obtuse angles are congruent. Now the reason why they were congruent is different, but at least we know that they're congruent. You'll notice here I have an angle that measures 125 degrees. And then over here, this question mark angle is located alternate interior to the given angle. And alternate interior angles are congruent. So if this angle measures 125, the question mark angle is also going to measure 125 degrees. In this drawing, this acute angle and this acute angle are congruent because all acute angles are congruent in this diagram. But the reason why this angle and this angle are both 53 degrees is because they are corresponding. Corresponding angles, when translated along this transversal, would perfectly overlap. In this one, the obtuse angle of 120 degrees is given, and I have several parallel lines here. That means that this is 120, this is 120, and this is 120. These two angles are corresponding, and these two angles are corresponding. Now let's try one that's a little more difficult. You're asked to find the measure of angle B, A, C. That's this angle right here. Well, that angle is a little difficult to find, so what we're going to do is we're going to try and work our way up there. I know that this angle is 110, and I know these are parallel lines. So that means that this angle and this angle are congruent, because they're corresponding. I also know that this angle is 105, and this angle and this angle are corresponding. That makes angle C 105 degrees. Now that doesn't help me find this inside angle. But I do know that 110 is adjacent to this interior green angle. So that must mean that the missing interior angle must be 70 degrees, since they're supplementary. I also know that this outside angle, 105, is supplementary to this inside angle. So this blue angle must be 75 degrees. And I know that 70 degrees plus 75 degrees plus that missing red angle have to make 180 because they're a triangle. So 145 plus that missing angle is 180 degrees. And when I subtract 145 from both sides, I get 35. That makes angle BAC equal to 35 degrees. Let's try solving some that have algebraic expressions. We're going to use what we know about this obtuse angle here and this obtuse angle there. These angles are corresponding, and corresponding angles are congruent or equal to each other. So we're going to write 17x minus 45 is equal to 108. And now we're going to add 45 to both sides. And when I do that, I get 153. Now all I have to do is divide both sides by 17, and I can find my value of x. Whoops. x is equal to 9. Let's try that again. In this diagram, I have one obtuse angle and one acute angle. And when you have one of each type, we know that these are supplementary. In this particular situation, we have an inside and an inside angle, and they're consecutive, also known as same side inside supplementary. So we're going to set these up as a single addition problem. 9x plus 14 
plus 3x plus 10 is equal to 180 degrees. When I combine like terms that are on the same side, I get 12x plus 24 equals 180. When I subtract 180 minus 24, I get 12x equals 156. And when I divide both sides by 12, I get x is equal to 13. And that is how you find missing angle measures when parallel lines are cut by a transversal.